comes to slime and squishy slimes, Salty Crafter really never understood the trend. I'm telling you, every time I give her slime, she just wants to take it and throw it down the toilet. Salty, no! And so today we're going to do exactly that. We're going to be reviewing that, that which is the mystery, the mystery of Salty, of Salty Crafter. Crafter. For those of you new, welcome to Cash or Trash, the episode where we review multiple craft kits so that I waste my money and you don't. Joining me today is my sister Sika. I fed her. Y'all telling me to feed Sika? She's jamming to the food right now. Oh, that, that little booty shake. Shake that booty, girl. <laughs> so for those of you who want to say, But Jackie, you need to feed Sika. Why'd you move your head too? You always want to get fed. I'm hungry again. I ate your fries too. I know you ate everything. <laughs> we have three craft kits from Walmart. The first one is a decorate your orbs slime squishy. They really stuck in all the key words in there, which is called slimy cafe. Next we have make your own dream pillow, which is a decorate your own pillow, I guess. Pretty much. I don't know if you're making it. No, probably just decorating. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> And last but not least, we have Kekka Craft. <laughs> that's the name, right? It's oh no, that's not even the name! No, that's why I laughed! <laughs> called the Hangries. Hangries, which is a slime kit. Hmm. That's supposed to be making fun of brands. Poops? So, yeah, apparently poop is funny. I love poop jokes. Let me know in the comment section below which one you have the least hope on out of these three kits. But wait, this is a sword? There can only be one reason. You guessed it, Raid Shadow Legends is today's sponsor. For those of you who don't know, Raid Shadow Legends is a turn-based RPG that is done right, which means it's free and fun to play. There are well over 400 champions that you can customize and make your own. Since I'm a person who really loves creatures and characters, I really love the diversity they have of the creatures. Everything from sacred order like paladins to barbarians, yes, even lizard people. So it keeps the gameplay pretty interesting. There are so many features to discover in this game, but one of my favorite is definitely auto battle. Because Sometimes when you're a busy grain and you just want to watch something fight some big monster, that's where auto battle comes in. Not to mention they do a better job than I do. <laughs> Dang damn it! There are also so many amazing maps to battle, really cool epic boss fights. Not only can you play Raid on your phone, but also on your desktop. So make sure you go to the video description, click on the special link, and if you're a new player, you will get 100,000 silver, one energy refill, one day XP boost, and the free champion, Adjudicator. All these treasures will be waiting for you here in the inbox in the game, but it's only available for 30 days. So get your butt over there, because this champion is one heck of a champion. You don't want to miss out. So what are you waiting for? Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite champion. Back to crap kits. I mean craft kits. Our first victim, Slimy Cafe. Decorate your orb slime squishy kit. That is a mouthful. Can you say that faster? Which one? All of it. No. <laughs> At $45, this kit is quite hefty in its price. Haha, -ha, you used hefty. <laughs> Let's go back. Sika absolutely loves the word hefty it's for some reason. It's a good word! But it does feel very hefty, so I hope whatever's in there... Uh, who uses the word hefty? You don't use the word hefty? It's like in my daily vocabulary. 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 <laughs> Unless you're like 78 years old. But I am in my soul. My bones, there. <laughs> <laughs> With this price tag, we're only getting one of three squishy designs. That sounds like a ripoff. Absolutely. One out of three for $45. I would expect at $45 to, to at get least... all three. Are you done interrupting me? Mm -hmm. mm, they just go... Mm. <laughs> I'm powering up. <laughs> Although the designs look really cute, they do say all we have to do is stack, layer, decorate, squeeze, squeeze, and go again. Apparently it's reusable. Hmm. I don't know how true that is, but we're gonna find out. And the best way to do that is to see what's inside. what we get inside. The squishy base, which has a pretty plasticky feel and the squishy itself is okay rising. Oh, smells like synthetic foam, which obviously it is. Whipped cream look and uh, garrets. Fluffy whips, swirlies, and jammies. What else do we have? Just the box. The instructions? There's no instructions. Seriously? <laughs> What's this? The warning. There's a warning and it's backwards. Oh. What? <laughs> Is that why you were panicking? Yeah. Drop okay, hang on. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> As my 
my sister was trying to explain, but her English was all over the place. For some reason, the warning instruction is printed reverse, and there's nothing in the back. And then we have no idea what these molds are for. There's no instructions at all. So I don't know what a swirlies is. I don't know what fluffy whips is. I guess the jams is the slime. I think they're all different slimes. Honestly, orbs at $50 almost with tax. And no instructions. This is a really, off. really scammy toy. Or as Sika said, what did you say? I don't remember. You said rip off. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what did I say when? I talk a lot. <laughs> that you do. In all seriousness, now that the panic has subsided just a little bit, we're both enraged. Pretty angry because at $45, which is $50 with tax, we're getting three items, no instructions, and squishies that we could find pretty at the much. Dollar store. Yep. And a mold for $50. We're scammed. We're scammed. We're scammed. Scrammed? Scammed. <laughs> scammed. Scram! Get out of here. Out. <laughs> so you can see, as I'm saying, this is no joke. For some Don't reason, someone bad. gave it five stars. Stop. What? Yeah, okay. so the five-star review, wow, seriously, someone must have not seen the kid play with it because it said, for crafty kids. You don't need to create anything, you're just putting things on top of each other and then squishing it and then putting it back in a bag. This is in no way a craft. <sighs> Alright, let's make our squishy slime. I don't even know what this is for. Can we just put it in the garbage? No, we're gonna do this. I paid $50. We're doing it. I said we're doing it. Alright. Get my hands dirty. The first thing we're going to test is the swirlies. Oh. Ah, uh, that's so anticlimactic. It's just Play-Doh feeling. Okay. Yeah, it is actually. It smells lightly of like berries. Y no. What's wrong with your nose? That's just because it's purple. You're totally tricking your brain. <laughs> okay, yeah, it smells like nothing. <laughs> kind of like a putty, so my guess is that this is going to be used inside the molds. I wonder if it's that kind of putty that bounces. You know the putty that bounces? Yeah, try it. <laughs> it bounces. It does. It totally bounces. <laughs> it bounces. Again, let's take a look at the uh, warning that was printed in reverse. Good quality control. It's and of course, this is probably going to be used for the mold. I mean, we didn't get any instructions, so we're just going at it. Did it work? Yep. There you go. Wonky, but there you go. You sound like you're struggling. <laughs> Look, I got it. Oh, that's a cute little waffle. The next thing we're going to try out is fluffy whips. And it is... Similar to this one? No. It's like an overactivated slime. It's like humid. You know you have two hands, right? No, this one's holding this. <laughs> How do you get this stuff out? <laughs> you don't have to rip the bag and then you won't be able to reuse the slime. <laughs> you have any trouble? Do you need help? Maybe my fingers can get them out. Okay, I got what I could out of this. So unlike the uh, previous one, this is an overactivated slime. Do you think it'll work in the mold? Look. So it seems to have held the shape. Now the question is for how long? And last but not least, the jammies. Which is probably very liquid. Oh, gross. I can hear it from here. <laughs> oh, that is wet. It's so nasty. <laughs> So even though this is a... Can I slap you in the face with one? No. <laughs> so this slime is pretty much standard for an activated slime, but not overly activated. It's not that stretchy because you can start seeing it tear here and there, but there's a handful. So there's quite a bit of it. I don't like the sound it makes. I think the more you play with it, the more my double chin's coming out. <laughs> All right, let's start building our $50 Toy. My fingers are sticky from that gross slime. And my heart is pretty salty. So if we look at the box over here, it's pretty much just stack them. And then you squeeze. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add the whip, I guess. Is that what it was called? Fluffy whips, maybe a slime. And then the condiments. <laughs> I don't know what it is, why are you laughing at me? Oh, maybe we should put more slime too. Too much. All right, now we're putting the molds. Do you want to squeeze with me? I guess. You ready? Three, two, one. Go! Ew. This yeah. is fifty dollars? It didn't get stuck to my finger, look! Ah! That was my eardrum! <laughs> okay, so... Oh, that's so gross! Yeah, yeah. Okay, you know I'm not a towel, right? <laughs> I was a kid, I was like... <laughs> Sto 
story time. When my sister was little and she would cry or if she had a cold, <laughs> she would come near me for a hug and she would go, Jiggy, I'm not feeling good. Go ahead. And I'd wipe my nose on her. She would wipe her <laughs> snot all over my shoulder. I was like, gross. And she saw nothing wrong with it up until now. Now she sees something wrong it's with it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> One of my friends has kids, so I've had it happen to me, okay? So like... You've had happen to you? I've had it happen to me. I've had it happen. That's wording, right? Am I wording okay? <laughs> so I think pretty easily for oh, us... Oh, that's so gross. Oh, now that you made the slime touch the other one, it's gross. Now this is wet. Oh, that is... Did it get ruined? Oh my god, I think it did. Again, this kit is $50 at Walmart. There's no playability. It's not really a craft kit. Everything here is a mess. No instructions. It's supposed to be reusable. I don't think it is. It just ruined one of the slimes. It's foam and slime. Really, you could <laughs> probably... <laughs> really, you could... <laughs> just touch... <laughs> no, no! Get over it! And there's practically no quality control. And so for us, this kit goes no. straight in the trash. Next we have Make Your Own Dream Pillow. Like we get to sew it and stuff it? Maybe. And the interesting thing about this kit is that it says magic color changing sequence. Magic. Oh, is it the one that you can like rub? Is that magic though? I don't know, I guess it depends. Time for Jazz Hands Magic. And the scary part is, when we turn the box around, you can see that the entire project is made with three colors. We have blue, purple, and green. It kind of does look cute though, but we do get three permanent markers. Can you imagine if you slept on a pillow that has permanent markers and then you wake up, you're probably gonna get some imprints on your face. All right, enough jibba jabba. time to see what we get inside. Me? Mm-hmm. That's it. That would have hurt. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. A rainbow pillow that says, believe in your dreams. Don't believe in yourself, my little grains. Believe Only believe in your dreams. Let's try that again. Don't believe in yourself, my little grains. Believe in, in your yourself. dreams. Kaka! <laughs> Remember, grains, believe, believe in, in your dreams, dreams, not yourself. And on the other side, we have the rainbow sequins. Ah. Yeah, it, it works. It hurts. Oh, by the way, this kit cost me five dollars. Really? That's it? So far, this five dollar kit seems a lot more entertaining than the fifty dollar kit. Yeah. We also get some really good instructions. They are really detailed. They even tell you to make sure that the markers dry and how to fluff the stuffing. The, poly the what? The polyester? Yeah. <laughs> you cut me off, so I just stopped. <laughs> so, so far, the instructions pretty good. A1. So this is the polyester stuffing, and we get three markers. Three permanent markers, the same exact ones that they showed on the box. And six little notes that say, dreaming of. So you can write your dreams and stuff it in the pillow. Kinda cute. Kinda cute. Well, for $5, it's pretty great. Alright, time to see if the markers actually color on the cloth. <laughs> so we decided that we're going to split the, well, split the drawing and... Uh, I can't get the marker are open. Are you serious? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it so hard to... Oh! oh! I finally got it! Okay, it's a little challenging. It's like, it's super slippery. It is really slippery. Can, can we get the blue open or is it gonna be as hard? I'm scared. <laughs> okay, takes a couple of tries. <laughs> Alright, so first impressions on how it's going to color. Let's see Sika, what's your first impression? Oh, that's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah. Alright, let me try with purple. Yeah, that works pretty well. Sounds pretty scratchy though. Well, it's cloth. Yeah. Alright, let's continue. So as we're coloring it in, the markers actually do hold on to the fabric. And they did warn us that if we color a little too excitedly by pressing too hard, what's going to happen is that the markers are going to bleed. So in the instructions themselves, they really do tell us, make sure that you give enough space between where you color so that the markers can bleed. How did you like it, Sika? It was a very fun activity. Uh, the only thing I didn't like was the fact that we didn't have many colors. But apart from that, for a $5 activity, so far so good. All right, time to open it to let the air in, and there we go. Time to dig the stuff in. You're letting me stuff it all? Yeah. Okay. Girl, I can't keep up. Now that our pillow is stuffed, we're going to go ahead and write our dream. Oh, fluff. It's like that last <laughs> time I was like... <laughs> it was a flying feather. 
All right, so we're gonna write our dreams. Sika, you can't write that! Oh no! <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. Oh no! <laughs> Why you gotta take like my dreams like that? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's stuff your dreams in here. There's my dream <laughs> and Sika's dream. We'll put it deep in there. <laughs> and so for us, was this kit fun? Yes. yes. Was it cute? Yes. yes. Did it keep us busy? Yes. yes. And so for us, this kit goes in, in your cat. It was at this moment that he knew. Our next kit is a DIY make your own slime kit by The Hangrees. It is all about the poo. And as you can see, they have play on words like Five Nights of Farts and uh, Kaka Craft. Kaka Craft. But I have to say, the one that got me the best is Fart Night. That was pretty good. Fart Night. And Chukaka. <laughs> Chukaka is my favorite one. Chukaka is great. But of course, for those of you who are Harry Potter fans, Go ahead, read it. You're just- we lost Sika! Harry Flopper! Okay, we're immature. Look at us. I am a very mature grain. I don't make fart jokes. That's Caca! <laughs> oh my Jamal! And so each of these kits was $15. We're going to have one each to play around with. So, let's see what we get inside. Here's what we get inside. We have my Five Nights of Freddy's character, and it opens. Oh, the tongue feels weird. That is a really weird texture. And it seems like the, oh, okay. <laughs> There's a hole at the bottom, good to know. Keep your legs not lifted. <laughs> Oh, we also get Kit Splat, which looks so gross. <laughs> Crappy wafers. Ugh. So, not sure what's in here. Just the ball. So we'll find out what that's for later. This here is the slime packet, the powder. And this is our texture, which I guess is like kinetic sand. And then we have a little container, which is the toilet and also our measuring cup. In mines, we get a caca craft. Does it have a tongue? Yeah, I think so. Oh, yeah. On the tongues look the same, and they have the fear, this fear texture. It's so weird. Weird texture. He is also has a bum. <laughs> Keep your legs down! Uh, okay, his leg was stuck. We've got Reek's peanut butter plops. Like Key. Nut. Nut. Butter plops. Chaka. Lip. So I have a little ball too. We both have little balls. What are your balls? So here I've got a powder, I think. This is for my texture, which looks like fluffy balls. There's two pairs of fluffy balls. Oh my god! <laughs> and we've also got the toilet, which is also the measuring cup too. Yeah, all right, so according to the instruction, we're going to put in our texture and slime powder inside of our containers and mix it. Once that's mixed up, we're going to add room temperature water to the toilet bowl up until the line put it inside our character, and then add our texture mixture, and then shake it for one whole minute. Ah, mine's butt's leaking. <laughs> Dickie, you can keep the legs straight. I'm scared. It leaked on you. Oh no. All right, so now that we've shaken vigorously and there was leaky bums, <laughs> It was pretty gross. Yeah, it was pretty gross. <laughs> what we're going to do now is we have to sit them on the toilet seat, lift the leg that doesn't open the hole. <laughs> this is so wrong. And then afterwards, lift the leg that lets out all the liquid. So, Sika, you ready? Yeah, which leg doesn't? It's this this leg, the right one. The right one is the one that opens the hole. So <laughs> open the other one first. <laughs> okay. You ready? Oh my god. I don't think I'm gonna get it in the toilet. Just don't ruin my felt. I'm <laughs> Just don't ruin my felt. Or by salt, I will ruin you. You ready? Mm -hmm. This toilet's not very stable. I hate unstable toilet seats. You sound like you have experience. Oh, oh gross. That's so nasty. Well, you just have to let it sit and let it leak. That's so gross. Did you hear the bubbling? It? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna sit mine down too. All right, so now we're getting communal poopage. That's a thing, apparently. Okay, and oh, 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 yes. oh, wow! Yours had diarrhea. <laughs> That's gross. How come yours is <laughs> yours is still oh gross? <laughs> mine really went for it. It's literally like hemorrhage. Coca. I think it's because mine had the kinetic sand. Oh my god. That's gross. Yours obviously still has a long way to go. I think mine's constipated because of the fluffy balls. <laughs> All right, now we have to wait 15 minutes before we're allowed to play with the slime. Like, it's probably stuck up there. He needs laxatives or something. And the fact that they're red reminds me of other things. What? Do you know what I'm talking about now? Yeah, I do know what you're talking <laughs> about, but like, I'm thinking other things. because No, like, no, no, okay. Having Crohn's disease. <laughs> Okay, that's it, that's it, we're going too far now. <laughs>
And so here we are, way more than the 15 minutes later, probably about like 20. So here we are, half an hour later. And um, Sika's dude is. He, I think he's constipated. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't get everything out there because oh. The fluffy balls are in the way. Yeah. I think they're a little bit too big for his bum. So one of the things they didn't keep in consideration is the fact that the texture, those little puff things, they actually blocked <laughs> the passage. <laughs> no, but you're gonna go in there! Ew! That's so gross, you're gross. I guess you're gonna have to take it from here. Yeah. There you go. Um, poor guy was constipated. There you go. And mine seems to be the same texture. I guess we'll we'll take it out. And it doesn't really feel like slime per se. It's oh, there's the the red one. It almost feels like melted jello. <laughs> That's exactly what it feels like. It has this texture of melted jello. It's yeah. definitely not slime the way that some of you grains really like it. I don't understand slime culture, but even the one that has the kinetic sand is just not that great. And again, for fifteen dollars, how is there no scent to this? Not only that, but it's such a small amount that you're getting too. I know the idea is that you're getting a figure and all that stuff, but for $15, and some of them do go for $25 depending on the figurine. Oh, really? Yeah, I just don't see it as something that you would get for the slime, but rather the collectible figures. So now the question is, did it work? Yes. Yeah. Are the figurines and the puns funny? Kinda. Yeah, juvenile, but yeah. And so for me, this would be worth your Even skeptical... Okay, for me, I would say skeptical cash if you're into those figurines. For you? Trash. Thank you. In, In the, the trash. trash! For me, skeptical cash. Actually, rewind. If you're getting this for the slime activity, again, no scent, it's pretty grainy. And, Sika, was your observation? It stains your hands. Show us. I don't know if you can really tell. Yeah, you could see here that there's the red versus her skin tone, so it does stain. So, in terms of the slime itself, definitely garbage in the trash! But the figurines are pretty cute. Still not worth 15 bucks. If you want to reach Sika, you can find her on Instagram at nerdysister underscore Sika. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check it up here. And if you want to watch a crafting video, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.